the little girl was put into a narrow enclosed space by her father. Then he began to pour cement from both sides of the space. The girl was helpless and panicked. The cement gradually submerged her feet. She had nowhere to go but to beat on the walls and call for help. But the only response was the cement that kept flooding her body. Finally, the cement flooded her neck. The girl found it hard to breathe and could only tilt her head up. Her eyes were filled with nothing but despair, all because her father was a perverted architect. He believed that only fear and death could give life to a house. In order to build the best house, he planned to use his favorite daughter to strengthen the foundation of the house. He believes that the most magnificent buildings can be built on foundations made of human bodies. Time quickly came 15 years later. Sam had just graduated from college. Her father's first gift to her was the task of demolishing the building. She accepted the assignment with confidence, so she immediately drove over to check out the hotel. Sam found that although the exterior of the hotel was old, but the interior of the hotel is very well designed. As soon as she entered the door, she noticed a strange sign. Sam was about to touch the sign when a woman called out to her. She asked Sam if she needed any help. She was Mary, the manager of the hotel. After a brief conversation, Sam said she wanted to stay at the hotel for a few days because the nearest hotels are 100 miles away and it was convenient for her to stay here to measure the wall structure. Mary called her son Jimmy and asked him to take Sam to the sleeping room. However, Jimmy, who was in his prime, immediately fell in love with Sam at first sight. As they were going to their room, the light in the hallway suddenly went out. Sam was shocked. Jimmy explains that the hotel turns off the lights every six minutes to save electricity. Sam felt an eerie chill emanating from the building. Jimmy took her to a room on the second floor. Jimmy repeatedly told her not to go to the eighth floor or the top floor. When she was leaving, Sam didn't understand what this meant. Sam was taking a bath in the bathtub before going to bed. Suddenly she heard an eerie voice calling her name. And when she got up, the voice disappeared again. While she was blow drying her hair, she faintly heard the sound of a little girl playing in the mirror. She followed the voice to the door of a room to check. Mary opened the small window and said hello. Sam's fear was temporarily put aside. The next day when Sam measured the wall structure, she found that the actual thickness of the wall was 44 centimeters, thicker than the thickness on the drawing. Sam also found that some rooms were unoccupied, but the luggage was always in the room. He asked Mary what was going on. Mary replied that all those people suddenly disappeared one day. After that, they never came back. This seriously aroused Sam's curiosity. She wanted to find out the truth about the building. So she went to the 8th floor, where Jimmy had warned her not to go. Sam followed the stairs to the 8th floor. There was a spooky room in here. She found a notebook on the table. Inside the notebook, besides a few sexy bikini photos, there was a letter from Jimmy to Sam expressing his feelings. The wording of the letter is very straightforward. She just laughed at the letter. She dismissed it as a child's prank and didn't care much about it. The nail holes in the wall suddenly flowed with blood. The woman reached out and touched it to see what it was. However, two white arms came out of the wall and grabbed her and pressed her against the wall. Sam could not break free from these two white hands. Then she was locked into a small room. Concrete started pouring in around her. She screamed frantically. Her, no! No! her body was gradually submerged in the cement and she couldn't move at all. When the cement reached her neck, a strong feeling of suffocation wrapped around her. Sam woke up with a start, but it was just a dream. Ever since she learned the story of the house, Sam always felt that the house was full of weirdness. Not only could she hear horrible noises in the shower, she had the same nightmare every day. She also had trouble measuring the walls. One day Sam finished measuring the structure of the building and drew a mark on the wall for the blasting point. Then a man with an axe came at Sam and ran straight at him. After Sam dodged him, he started to cut the wall frantically. His angry attitude was to stop Sam from blowing up the building. Sam was frightened and immediately went to Jimmy. Sam learns through questioning that the man's name is Burnett and he is one of the remaining residents of the building. He did not let Sam blow up the building because he did not want to lose his home. And when the house was half built, the occupants started disappearing one after another. Jimmy's father was one of them. Jimmy also took Sam to a room on the eighth floor and revealed that this was where the police found the bodies. Those people were built into the wall, but there was no designer among the bodies. The designer suddenly disappeared. At that moment, the two of them came to a portrait. Just when Sam was wondering, Suddenly a dark figure appeared at the end of the corridor. Jimmy immediately went after him, leaving Sam alone in the same place. At night Sam had the same nightmare again. She looked in the mirror and saw that the frame behind her was shaking. 
She got up the courage to take it off, but the small hole in the wall began to bleed. When she reached out to touch the hole again, she suddenly woke up from her dream. There was a commotion in the living room. Sam cautiously got up to check. It was her boyfriend, Peter. Peter's arrival gave her courage, so she told him all the weird things that happened to comfort his girlfriend. Peter took her around the hotel to explore. Sam inadvertently touched a mechanism on the wall in a room and discovered a basement. They climbed down the ladder and Sam found a room in the secret passage. It turns out that the strange noises coming from her bathroom were done on purpose. She thinks of Jimmy, who wrote her a love letter. And in the night, Sam and her boyfriend start to make out after a long time. But Jimmy was listening in the dark hallway just now. He left tears of pain in his heart. The next morning, Sam came out of his room and saw a puddle of blood on the floor. It came from under the door of another room. Sam pushed the door open and screamed in shock. Jimmy's dog had been brutally killed by someone. Sam's first thought was that Jimmy had done it, but Jimmy strongly denied it and he was very sad when he buried the dog. Sam's demolition work was almost complete. All she had to do was send the information to the demolition team and she was done. The beautiful woman was trapped upside down in a very deep hole, but her boyfriend, who was on top of the hole, was suddenly killed and fell unconscious on the rope. The blood from his mouth dripped all over the woman's face. After the woman broke down and shouted, she also fell into the darkness. Jimmy apologized for spying on Sam. So, he gave Sam some architectural materials with the designer's manuscript on them. Sam was very happy. She looked through them and found that the hotel was in the shape of a pyramid. This means there must be a center here. She might find the truth in the designer there. But while she was engrossed in the information, Jimmy suddenly offered to go to the center of the hotel to check the situation. But he never came back. Sam was unsure and took her boyfriend to the center of the apartment to check it out. But there was a huge hole hidden in the middle of the place. From the hole came Jimmy's voice. He said he had fallen and broken his leg and asked them to go down to save him. Sam thought that she could not pull two men along, so she decided to go down into the hole herself and asked her boyfriend to pull her from above. But as soon as she got halfway down the hole, her boyfriend was shot by an arrow from the dark and killed instantly. Blood dripped down on Sam's face. Sam had no time to grieve and fell straight down the rope. When she woke up, she found a pale man standing in front of her. This man is the architect of the building. In fact, he did not die that year because he believed that people can't give the house a soul. So it put 15 people inside the walls. One of them is Jimmy's father. Jimmy's father's family imprisoned him here for revenge and tortured him continuously. Jimmy stood at the entrance of the hole after a while and threw down a letter. In the letter, he confessed everything. He had killed his dog and her boyfriend. He wanted to keep Sam here for the rest of his life until Sam fell in love with him. He was afraid Sam would starve to death and brought her fresh fruit and gave her a walkie-talkie. This will bring the two of them closer together. But he ignored Sam's cries for help. After Jimmy did everything, he took Sam's boyfriend's car and mailed the information about the hotel demolition to the demolition team. Then he sunk Sam's car into the lake. Sam's side of the sky suddenly began to rain heavily. And after the rain washed away, her boyfriend's body became visible by the mud. Sam felt regretful when she saw this. The designer suddenly knocked her out. When Sam woke up again, he found that the designer had already dug a hole. He knew that his beloved building could not escape the fate of demolition. So he plans to bury the hotel with himself. He dug the grave for himself. Then he used his words to provoke Sam. So he forces Sam to kill him. Sam was furious about her boyfriend's death and had no place to go. So she got excited and stabbed him directly. Finally, the designer held on to his last breath and satisfied to lie in the grave. Not long after, he was drowned by the mud he designed. A day later, the demolition team had arrived at the hotel. They loaded the explosives according to the marked points. Jimmy and his mother stood in a safe place. Just as the button to blow up the building was about to be activated, Jimmy seemed to hear Sam's faint cries over the intercom. He rushed to the hotel against all odds. The demolition team had to stop the plan. Jimmy then arrived at the cave. Sam collapsed the moment he saw Jimmy. Sam's father, who was in charge of the blast, also found Sam on the ground. He rushed to ask what was going on. Jimmy said sorry and immediately jumped into the hole and fell beside Sam. He thought the two of them could do Starcross Lover, but he could never have imagined that Sam was not dead. And he ended her life of sin. This may be good as rewarded with good and evil with evil. Although this film is a thriller, but it is not scary at all. What makes us feel sad is the twisted human nature. The perverted architect who sacrifices his own daughter. The mother who shackles her son to the hotel and cuts him off from the outside world, and the psychopathic teenager who has been repressed for a long time. They should all be condemned because their selfish desires have harmed countless lives.